All right, so a while ago, I asked you guys to give us some questions, and uh, we've got some yes. answers for you. But we're gonna do it impromptu on yes. the spot. We didn't. We kind of we wrote these down, but we wrote them down a while ago, and now we're revisiting our flashcards to answer your questions. Yeah, we wrote these down, and I I forgot what the questions were because it's been it's been a while. We've been busy. It's been a while. All right. All right, guys. Well, let's just let's just go for it. Okay. So uh, let's answer some questions. Okay. Let's do it. What are your favorite new bands? Favorite new bands? Let's see. I'm going to say uh, definitely Inhuman Condition. They've been around a little while. Everybody knows that I love them. I don't really know that many new bands. Do you know of any? We just listen to Kiss all the time. We listen to the same stuff. <laughs> I haven't listened to anything really new other than, you know, like, you know, Inhuman that just right. that came out. Uh, but then, like, newer metal bands, I really haven't haven't checked anything out. Or I've been told to check stuff out, and I'm just lazy and haven't done it yet. A couple of friends have told me to check out, oh, check out this band, check out that band. They're really good. I'm we like, did get right. the, yeah, we got the new Aussie record, which is cool. It's it's poppy, but I it's fun. It's fun. I know? haven't heard it yet. I've been wanting to give it's it cool. a spin. There's if a bunch you of, like it, it's probably it's probably pretty catchy. Probably. I like it. It's super catchy, and it's got like a bunch of people on it, like musicians. Mike McCready from you know Pearl Jam. Yeah, and... I read who else? Um, uh, Iomi's on there. What was the other one that really tripped me out? Was um, so much. Zach Wild, Eric Clapton, Eric Clapton. That's um, I'm like Eric Clapton's playing on the Aussie album. What McCready? I love because that's Temple of the Dog. So yeah. that's super old school. Yeah, Love Bone, Temple of the Dog. I love that '90s grunge stuff. But then yeah, yeah. it's like Jeff Beck, and then then yeah. let's see who else. Um, John Josh Homme from yeah, Josh uh, Homme's on it too. Stone Age, so yeah, it's got like all all star cast. It's it's great. I mean, it's Ozzy. You got to support Ozzy. Mm-hmm. Ozzy rules. The yeah. fact that he's still making music is rad. So I definitely want to hear. Really it. Cool. We're gonna have like an Ozzy yeah. listening party. We'll have an Augie over. Right, our okay. record buddies. Okay, um, let's What's see. Next question? Um, next question, I'll ask you. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, on that note. What's your favorite stoner desert post metal band? What would you say? Stoner desert. <coughs> I really got metal. into um uh Caius and and I really got into Goat Snake. Goat Snake I thought were a really good band. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh um, I think Caius was probably like my top. They're heavy. Yeah, they were just yeah. for what they you know, what they did at the time, they had a cool combo of uh, cool style and uh like Doom kind of? Doom. Um, I'm trying to think of an early Doom like band. Stoner metal, really. Well, you weren't really that into St. Vitus. I would say no. St. Vitus and the Obsessed, uh-huh. of course. Now, now that them, you play me that, yeah, I'm like, okay, I hear that. You know? Spirit Caravan. So like, Pentagram, you know? Pentagram, yeah. Um, Anything but Wino But at I the love. time when I heard them, I had to know about you know Pentagram and St. Right. Vitus. I was just like, Caius, well, this is fucking heavy, man. Yeah. This is awesome. So I would say Caius is probably like my number one. I just got into them and they had some really good records. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they got really some really good records. A couple yeah. of records ago. Good bands. Great bands. Okay, um, next question is from. Oh, we were we forgot to um, name who asked us these questions. Okay, oh. so that was from Ron Dean. R H O N D E A N asked us, "What's your favorite stoner desert post metal band?" And the favorite new bands was from Rev Kev seventy R E V K E V seventy. So thank you guys. And Thanks guys for asking. Yeah, the next one is from. Static Strat. Static Strat. Who's Static Strat? I know that name. Static Strat is my friend Gabe. Um, he's the one that makes all the crazy memes of me, like the ones oh, yeah, photoshopped yeah. in the kiss picture. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe rules. Uh, he's very Italian, so he's very feisty and fiery, so we love that. And he asked a very, very no-brainer of a question, which is, and this is probably directed at Johnny, was Jeff Hanneman badass? Was Jeff Hanneman bass? Yeah, he was cool, man. He's actually, um, he was just like a dude, you know. He hung out. He wasn't pretentious. He, you know, he, he would talk. He would sit down and talk to you. I mean, if he didn't know you, you know, you approach him. He was approachable. You could talk to him. Um, he was funny. Aww. Yeah, and uh, he, um, he was a silly man. He like he was very silly. I mean, Aww. I guess a lot of a lot of a lot of like musicians that i know are, are super silly and you wouldn't think that you know seeing them like mm-hmm. on stage or interviews maybe in interviews like zach like, wilde he looks like all well uh, he, he you could tell like he's 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 like this dude right but then he'll he'll pose into the picture and make this goofiest cross-eyed face you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, this guy's silly i as, love it <laughs> yeah it's great but jeff was super silly he had a really dry sense of humor but uh 
she was the band, you know. Like I was telling Dave the other night, um, I said, you know, when 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 Jeff passed, that was the end. Aww. I thought, you know, I, I, that's what I felt like. That was that was over. That was the end of a of a great. Uh, it's pretty hard to replace Jeff. Yeah, he was awesome. Know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to some of the earlier questions that we had because those were all a little bit later. So we're gonna go to our flashcards yeah. now, and yeah. babe, I'm gonna let you ask the next one because I all asked right. you. Thank you guys for asking questions. This is always fun um, answering these. All right, babe. I think this is, uh, well, I guess this is for both of us. Favorite Danzig Ooh. song ever, including Misfits and Sam Hain. Only one. Only one? Oh, that was sh- from Nikes. T- T8D113. Okay, what is the song? I mean, what is the question again? The question is, favorite Danzig song ever, including Misfits and Sam Hain. Only one. Wowie. Wow. Well, considering we have 20 set lists on our wall of <laughs> Misfits and Danzig, I actually get to look at some songs here. So let me, um, man, I'm going to have to, dude, I don't know how, would I choose Misfits or Danzig? I love both so much. What would you say, baby? It's a toss up for me. Double up or Green Hell. Ooh, yeah. So we're Earth AD kids for sure. <laughs> I mean, Green Hell is just it, that when I when I hit, when they play that song live, I fucking ah. go crazy. Okay, so and on then, that note, when they do that song, Jerry looks over like, yeah, he, he knows that's like my favorite tune. Devil Locks badass, and man, oh. Hell Breaks Loose is just yeah, that one's badass, unbelievable. Too. That's pretty. So, uh, Hell Breaks Loose, high energy. Yeah, I don't know, man. My my first Misfits record ever was Legacy of Brutality, so I have like a special love for that record, but I love them all. And then, of course, Danzig won because that came out when I was young, and Danzig was just like, wow. I was just, we were, all my friends went to go see him at Sunset Station. We were all 13, and I wasn't allowed to go because I had already snuck out to OzFest. I think it was like 2001 or 2002. <laughs> and, um, 2001 is when we snuck out to Ozfest, and I was just grounded forever. So all my friends showed up the next day, you know, way after that, after that Ozfest and after the Danzig show. But I was grounded, and they all had their Danzig shirts on, and I was like the only one in my little freaky friends group without a Danzig shirt. Oh. <laughs> Alex had one, my best friend. What year was that Sunset Station? <laughs> Shit, it must have been like O two. Oh, okay, something that like that. After. So yeah, it was a, uh, it was shit. I was in eighth grade. I remember mm. so. But anyway, great question. But yeah, we're going to go with yeah. Earth AD. I Thanks. would say Hell Breaks Loose or Death Comes Ripping. Yeah. So. Thank you, T8D113. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, there's a question from Heavy Metal Maniac 1979. Oh, she says, are you going to marry that amazing man of yours? You two are the ultimate couple. Oh, I that's love that. nice. Thank you so much. And hell yeah, I'm going to marry him someday. That's right. We don't care about the government having a legal binding document on us, so we're already married. Mm-hmm. Practically. I love you forever. Love you, babe. <laughs> All right. Next question. That was adorable. Oh, and we loved thank it. You. Thank you. Yes, love yes, and yes. Okay. So. Oh, that was nice. That was adorbs. All right. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Here's a good one. This is from Lord Komodo. Johnny, <laughs> Lord Komodo asks. Have you ever had the chance to meet the legendary Peter Steele? I did not. Uh, I think I did meet him, but it was pre, um, pre-typo. pre Carnivore? It was Carnivore, Whoa, yeah, back way awesome. back way back in the day. That, like, one of the first times we played out in New Jersey. And How that cool. Was, yeah, but that was, God, that was, I guess that was like 80, 80, 84, 80, maybe 84. Yeah, I, I'm not. You know, I probably didn't meet him. I just I can't recall if I did or didn't. But I would like to think that I did. But I, I remember watching Carnivore and how how crazy they sounded at that time. I haven't heard. They're any, pretty hard, dude. Yeah, I haven't heard anything like that. Yeah. But, you know, like what the hell? This is crazy. This is right? heavy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Best freaking Instagram name of all time. Jesus hates Nickelback. Oh. <laughs> Jesus hates Nickelback. Wants to know: Is your daddy a terrorist? Cause you the bomb. <laughs> oh no, they didn't. I should have read that one before I read it out loud. The bomb.com. Next, you forgot to add .com to that. 
Alrighty. Sure. Thank, thanks for the question, Jesus hates Nickelback. That was silly. Okay. 